Hey guys, uh, I'm just outside our RSIS uh, building right here, right by the parking lot. And actually, so here's the road that you drive up on to get here um, as the car is driving by. I am right by one of our trees, and even right here I can show you what all that you might want to grab whenever you are digging for your terrarium. And what's great is that I have the ability to turn this camera many directions, um, which allows me to kind of show you a little bit better. But really, for many of us, we're just going to need less than about a half inch of soil. So you don't have to dig very deep. Um, for those of us with bigger containers, you might want to dig uh, about an inch and a half to two inches. Um, so you get a little bit more dirt. Um, you may consider if you have just some rocks or pebbles, really that small, those small different rocks, you may consider getting some of those and putting them on the bottom in between. It just kind of helps separate the dirt and allows moisture to kind of stay in. But even just right here, you could dig and find many great resources. So I'm going to see if I can turn my camera and use my front facing one. No, but, all right, well, I'll just go ahead and show you like this. All right, so on here, I've got a bunch of different stuff. So right here, there's a bunch of acorns on the ground. You'll see, and I know it might be hard to see, but there is some of this moss, um, different greenery. We've got some grasses over here, which would be really good. There's already some rocks built in here. Some of this dirt, if you notice, there's even little tiny clover there. So really, a lot of that is some great resources. So even, um, let's see here, there's some bark that has fallen off of our tree and you'll notice that it has some lichen on it. So if I zoom in, you'll notice that there's some of this lichen on here. Um, that you can grab as well. So really anything that is green, um, it can be grass, it can be moss, but you want to dig to where you at least get some of those roots. So about an inch is generally pretty good. Those of us with bigger containers can do a little bit more. Those of us with smaller containers need to obviously do a little bit less. Um, so really anything that is green out in your yard, anything that might decompose. Um, generally speaking, if you look for a tree, around a tree generally has some pretty good variations of what the soil might have in it. Um, so it'll have generally a bunch of different types of greenery next to it. Generally, so like if I walk further out into, into this area, you'll notice behind me there's it's mostly just grass there's not as many options now i know some of us have brought up putting dead leaves in there that is okay as well it's just not necessarily needed it's just something that can decompose in there um, so setting up our containers we'll go into using those resources and i'll come out and dig some of those and show you how to set it up inside on a separate video all right so those are some, are some things to look for for your terrarium tomorrow